In this training movie, I'm going to show you how to grab an image off of the internet, how to cut it out, save it, and add it into a library. In this example, I'm going to use fire pits, but it could be anything. It could be plants. It could be trellises. It doesn't really matter. So the first thing you want to do is bring up Google, and we're going to do a fire pit. So I'm going to type in fire pit. And then I want to click on images just to see the pictures and here we have a bunch of images to choose from. Now one thing you want to keep in mind is that you want something that's a high enough resolution. So if you put your mouse over it, you'll see this one is 2900 pixels, which is high. This one is 225, which is low. So you probably would not want to use this one. This one here is definitely going to be sized down. And this one here is pretty much what I want. And it's 2000 pixels, which is fine. So I'm going to click on it and then to save it what I will do is I will right click over the image and click on save image as and then depending on what browser you have you want to save it in a folder but you need to make sure you know where that folder is so I'm going to save this on my F drive I'll click save now I no longer need the browser so I'll close this and we're going to open that file by clicking on open navigate to that folder now here's the file that I saved because I knew it was Fire Pit 13. But if you want to see an image of it, you go over here to View and click on Large Icons, and then you will be able to find a thumbnail. So here's that Fire Pit. Is the thumbnail? I'll double click it to bring it to the screen. Now I'm recording this movie in 1024, so we need to size this down. But you would probably need to size this down anyway because 2,000 pixels is probably going to be bigger than you need. So go here to background image, go to resize. I'm going to make this 800 so it fits on my screen and there we have it. Now I want to cut this fire pit out to turn it into an object. To do that you'll use the define area tool. So I'm going to use the polygon tool. I'm going to zoom in by pressing F10 on the keyboard and I'm just going to trace around this fire pit. Now because this is pretty much the same thing over and over again, I'm going to skip ahead here. So now I come back to the first point that I had selected and I will select on top of that point and it will close the polygon turning the fire pit gray. So now I want to make it an object. I'll exit this menu by clicking OK. And then to make it an object all you have to do is click on it drag it with your mouse and it'll ask you if you want to convert it to an object you'll say yes and as you can see I have it cut out so now I want to save this to do that you go over here to file go to export object and again navigate to a folder where you want to save this and I want to save it with all my other fire pits so I've gone to my hardscape folder there's a folder called fire pits I'm going to give it a new name and I'm going to call it fire hit 13 and click save so now I've saved it an object so I'm going to remove that and just check on it we'll go into import object and we'll go down here to fire pit 13 and I just realized I saved the object as an LOB and I didn't mention that but you notice here I'm not finding the file I just saved because my files of type was set to ping I'm going to change it to LOB because that's the format I saved it in. I'll double click it and it will come up on the screen as you can see here. So now I want to add it to my library of fire pits. So again I'll go up to library, we'll go to hardscapes and we'll go down to fire pits and I'm going to put it at the beginning of this library so I'm going to click on the first one here and go items, add items and there it is because I have it set to LOB. I'll double click it. Now you can see the thumbnail in the library and then I need to save this library. So now it's been saved in my fire pits library. So now if I ever go to my fire pits library and I'll double click on it and you can see it's cut out it's added to the library. I could size it down, manipulate it, cut it, do everything to it that I can, all the other objects in the library, because that's basically how they were put in, too. And that's how you do it. Now, one thing I did not mention in detail is the file format in which you save things. 
like I said before, you should save it as an LOB file. An LOB is a proprietary format that we use in Greenscapes. And what that does is it saves the background here that I've cut out as a transparency. So it's a transparent background so you don't see it there. Now I'm going to save it in the wrong format to illustrate what I mean by that. So if I go over here to file, I'm going to export this object. I'm going to change the file format to JPEG and we'll call it again and now let's bring up that JPEG you'll see that how it has shrapnel around the edges of it this is because it's saved on a black background and a JPEG file is a lossy compression so that it actually merges those colors together and you got this halo effect around it because the program drops out the first pixel in the upper left hand corner which is black but these around the fire pit as a JPEG are not black so if you get any kind of effect like this that means you saved it in the wrong format you'll have to probably define it again if you've uh, already lost the image that you've defined and do it over.